fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high silver. The Lone Ranger. This is a story of one of the most mysterious characters to appear in the early days of the West. He was a fabulous individual, a man whose presence brought fear to the lawless and hope to those who wanted to make this frontier land their home. He was known as the Lone Ranger. In a shady glen 10 miles from the western frontier town of Colby, there is a strange gathering beneath the trees. Taken prisoner is Butch Cavendish, notorious leader of an outlaw gang, a man who recently murdered several officials of Colby and replaced them with his own men as part of his daring plan to take over the town. Prisoners also are three of his henchmen. Sheriff Two-Gun Taylor has come upon the outlaw chief and his men as Cavendish was being treated for a bullet wound by Doc Drummond, who had been abducted from town to perform the job. While waiting for his Indian friend Tonto, who was sent to town for help, the Lone Ranger is untying the outlaw's horses when Silver, his own mighty steed, hears a strange sound. What's wrong, Silver? We got here just in time, boss. You did. Tie these men up. What goes on? I got winged after I shot Judge Knox. The sawbones there was treating me when the sheriff and the masked man took things over. Is that the hombre we seen ride off on the white horse? Yeah, which way did he go? Up the draw. They're all tied up, boss. Good. I'll watch him. You men get after that masked man before he gets to Colby and spoils our plans. And bring him back dead or alive. You heard it, boys. Let's travel. Meanwhile, unaware of what has happened to the Lone Ranger since last he saw him, Tonto has arrived in the town of Colby. He's on his way to the sheriff's office to ask the sheriff's assistant, Alex Creel, for more men to aid the Lone Ranger in tracking down Butch Cavendish. The way you keep on cleaning that gun, Corey, you must be figuring on using it soon. Nothing like being prepared. Might a lot's been going on around Colby lately, and the shooting's only just begun. Creel says there's going to be more of it tonight. Which one of you sheriff's assistant? It isn't often a redskin comes looking for the sheriff. It's usually the other way around. What do you want, Indian? Me want to see Creel. At present, he's busy. I'm handling his business. What's on your mind? Sheriff Taylor sent me. Him on trail of Butch Cavendish. Asked for Creel to come with posse. Oh, he did, huh? You're lying, Indian. Everybody around here knows that Cavendish gang is nowhere around here. That's not so. I see Cavendish myself. You come. I show you a trail. Will you listen to the redskin ordering us around? I don't know what your game is, Indian, but if Sheriff Taylor really sent you, you'd have some kind of proof. You follow Tonto. You have plenty proof. Seems to me this redskin's getting a little ornery, Corey. Shall I throw him in jail? No, let him go. Don't come nosing around here again or you won't get off so easy. Creel left orders not to lead a posse anywhere. Say, Corey, do you think he was on the level about the sheriff being on Cavendish's trail? Of course he was on the level. Why do you think I was trying to protect Cavendish? With all of our plans set for tonight, we can't let the sheriff mess things up. But if that engine gets back to the sheriff and tells him that Creel... He's not him... going to get back to the sheriff, because you're going to see that he does. Savvy? Oh, I say. you got nothing to worry about. <laughs>
Nothing like making sure, engine. Tonto, Silver. Tonto. Me follow trail, Kimosabe. Take long time. Where's the posse? No posse. Sheriff's men in Colby wouldn't send men with me. You must be one of Cavendish's men. That's right. Him send men to ambush me. Let me take care of him. You find Cavendish? Yes. But his men rode down from the hills and surrounded the sheriff and Doc Drummond. We go back and round them up? No, there are too many of them. We'd need a whole troop of cavalry to capture them all. I've got a plan, Tonto. Now, here's the idea. We'll circle back. That's Cavendish's horse. He must still be here. The rest of his men are out looking for me. Where, Doc and Sheriff? Over in the glen behind the brush. Come on, Tonto. be here with the doc. I imagine that Cavendish is watching our friends until his men return. We'll sneak up to the glen. If Cavendish is there, I'll want to surprise him. Then you know what to do. A hoot owl. Me understand. We'll leave our horses here. Do you think honest people are going to condone activities like yours, Cavendish? You know I've got men in my office who've sworn never to rest until you're captured. Uh, myself included, of course. And that masked man, he's one of my special secret deputies. Your men will never catch him. Uh, you know, Cavendish, the doc here and I and, uh, and the masked man, we know a lot more about you than you think we do. Why, there's hand built on you all over this territory. Pasted on every rock and every tree. You'll never get out of here. And another thing. Mm -hmm. Atta boy, stranger. You're a sight for sore eyes. Yeah. I thought we were goners. Who's the Indian? He's my friend. Are you both all right? Yeah, we're all right. Yeah. Cavendish is out cold. Where you been, stranger? I was getting worried. I rode off on Silver. Met Tonto coming from Colby. We sneaked in here the back way. Sheriff, your man Creel in town wouldn't send the posse. Him no believe, Tonto. Well, then that proves he's part of this murder and fiend's band. And I can name more in town that are working with him. Well, 
Anyway, we got Cavendish. We can load him in Doc's rig and take him on into town. Wait a minute, Sheriff. I want to capture more of the gang than just Cavendish. He's the leader. With help, we can capture him and his entire band when they return. Take too long to get help from Colby. They'll all get away. There's help much closer than town, Sheriff. Tonto said he saw a cavalry detachment passing a short distance off. We'll get their help. I'll leave Cavendish here. He's out and too weak to travel anyway. Well, whatever you say. All right, let's go. Come on, Doc. Don't worry, you're not going to lose me. Which way to the cavalry, mister? Take the right fork and circle back to Colby. To Colby? What about the cavalry? There are no cavalry. Thought you said they're passing through hereabouts. What I said was for Cavendish to hear. But he couldn't hear anything. He was unconscious. You should have examined him when I did, Doc. He was faking. Well, if there's no cavalry, just what in tarnation are you aiming to do? I'm trying to delay Cavendish's plan, Sheriff, to gain time. We have a lot to do tonight in Colby. All right, Doc. Let's get on with it. All right. Some of these men spotted the masked man, Chief, at the sense he didn't head for Colby. I know he did. Say, what happened to the prisoner? The masked man must have hid in the brush nearby. While you were out straight in the eyes for him, he come back here with an engine friend. Turned the prisoners loose, huh? Yeah. They all lit out fast, but not for Colby. They went the opposite direction. Where did they go? I overheard the masked man tell the sheriff there's a group of cavalry passing nearby. Now, they've gone off to get him to round us all up, so we got to work fast. Green, you, Sellers, and Shep stick care of me. We'll go back to the hideout. The rest of you try to head off the prisoners. See if you can spot that cavalry, too. This is going to delay my plans concerning Colby a bit. I can't take any chances. Now get stirring. We'll resume our thrilling story in a moment. But first, a brief pause to bring you a message of interest and importance. Now, once again, we return to our story. I sure hope Cleo didn't see us come in here. The sheriff's office is practically next door to mine, and I noticed the lights were still on. That's all for the good, Doc. It will give Tano a chance to sneak over there and see if anyone else is in the office with Creel. While he's gone, we can make up that list of the names of the people we want to surprise. Me go now, Kimutabi. Be careful, Tano. Remember, Creel is one of Cavendish's men. You know what happened the last time you tried to see him. Me be plenty careful. You make list ready. Tonk could be back fast. Are we sure that we hit your horses and my wagon far enough out of town? If anybody gets wind we're here, there'll be trouble. If we act fast enough, nobody will have time to stop us. All right, Sheriff. Write down the names of the new men in town. The ones who've been taking over all the top jobs. Well, first of all, there's Creel, of course. Put his name at the head of the list. If we take the jail first, we'll have a place to lock up all the others. And then there's Keeler. He took over the bank as soon as the judge was murdered. Keeler. Yes, old Jim told me about him. Yeah, and what about Ince? He was put in charge of the telegraph all this mighty sudden. Ince, I've heard of him too. Then there's uh, Jessup. He's that new gunsmith. And Peters, Dude, and Corey. Well, Tano, what did you find out? Me take Pete to window of sheriff's office. See Creel in there with one man. Just two of them, eh? All right, Sheriff, Doc, we'll start with Creel and his friend. And if everything goes well, we'll end up with the whole Cavendish gang. All right, come on, boys. I wonder what's keeping Cavendish. Sure getting to be late enough. Oh, I don't know, Creel. Maybe him and the boys were held up. Why you just send us a message or something? Who is it? It's me, Doc Drummer. An emergency. Doc, I thought you was on a town trip. Quiet, you two. Keep your hands high. 
Say, what's going on here? Plenty, Creel. Tonto, get Red's gun. We have reason to believe you two are working for Butch Cavendish. And I've got an idea. Those credentials you showed me to get your job were forged. Now, wait a minute. You can't prove Shut it. Shut up. Didn't that sell? You too, Red. Two gun, give me that list you made of Creel pal, Fetcher. All right. All right, Doc. We've got to hurry. It's getting light outside. Come on, Tonto. by sundown. Tonto, are your men all set? Yes, Kimasabi. Here they come. All right, boys. Let's go get them. Run, sewer!
stranger. Drop your gun, Cavendish. It's been a long chase. Now you're through for good. I guess you're right. All right. Let's go. Where to? Back to the fight. Where'd you say? I said... Now get going. Name. Name. Take it easy. Put him in one. I sure am glad to see them. Name. Shorty Bush. Finally got you, huh? Put him in two. Let's go. I'm going. Name. Dick Lambert. One. Okay. And I want to tell you that the whole town of Colby is proud of you, two guns. Well, I appreciate that a lot, Jim, but we had very little. Jim, come now, Sheriff. Here he is, Sheriff. Hello, Cavendish. Didn't think you'd catch him, partner. Now we got the whole dang bunch. You and your men are to be congratulated, Sheriff. Thanks. But if it hadn't been for you, we'd have gotten nowhere. I'll be with you in just a minute. I'll take care of this one personally. Come on. You did, Silver. Now, Cavendish can't capture Team Wasabi. You take off, Matt. I'm going to continue to wear the mask and keep my identity a secret. For how long? Our job has just begun. We have a lot of trails to follow. That good. Sheriff, before the lockup, do you mind telling me who the masked man is? Wouldn't mind at all, except that... Hey, where'd the masked man go? He and his Indian pal are going out to get the horses, Sheriff. Well... Guess he isn't one to stick around for a party. Well, who is he? I don't rightly know his real name, but I've heard him called the Lone Ranger. We will talk about next week's exciting episode of The Lone Ranger. But first, a brief and important message. Will The Lone Ranger triumph as he fights on for justice, law, and order? Be sure to be with us again next week at the same time when General Mills brings you another thrilling adventure with The Lone Ranger.